Well, I'm out here where I spread my bale in the field, and it's not looking very good. You can see all the little baby plants down the field there. And now here, we're struggling. There's a few coming through. Maybe we're just behind. That one's a soybean. Here's a little guy. They're down there. They're just not coming up. Like here's one, he doesn't look too good. Here's the next one. Maybe they just need a little bit more time. I didn't know what to expect with it and it still might come through. And like I unburied it. And most of the plants are down here. They're just not coming through. I unburied one row just to see what it'll do. Only time will tell yet, I guess. Where I spread my bale, like they're all pretty much there. I uncovered this row, but they're just not coming through. A few of them are, like this guy was coming through, but then this guy here, he's struggling, and I don't know if he's gonna make it. Maybe with more time they'll come through, but this was just a test trial. I didn't know what to expect or what it was gonna do. Not like I'm hurting a whole bunch of land. I mean, next year it should be more plentiful than ever here, you would think. But the moisture where that hay is in the soil, it's way higher than out here. I just hope with some more time that they're able to come through a little better. All right, you're looking at one of our first seeded fields, the first day of soybeans. There's little beans coming up, we got a row. They always look so rough the first day, but they usually come too. And if we can get a rain in the next couple days here, these will really take off. This is some pretty sandy soil down here. So it's a little dry, but there is moisture down there. A rain would really get these going. That soil is just so warm. I don't know whatever weeds these are, but they're gonna get hit here soon. They're growing. This little guy's coming up here. He'll be up in a little bit. Yeah, I think rain is gonna make this go a long ways. Here's a gap with nothing growing. Oh, I hope we can raise a good crop this year. Things are looking pretty good down here, I would say, though. Well, everyone, we're done seeding. We have started spraying now today. Finally got our first day that's not so windy. Right now, they're working around the farm, so we don't need both water trailers. But I'm getting the second trailer ready. It has a flat tire, so I gotta get that off and get that replaced. So we got our trailer professionally jacked up here with the 824. That thing works good for everything. Gotta lift it up. This guy right in here is my victim. Now, let's go see if we can find the tire. Well, we'll take that off first, then we'll go look. You can tell that it's flat because of the way that it is. Now, my only problem is that I didn't think through. My bead breaker is right there. Holding that up. I hope that one's gonna work today. New one here, we bought this spare. We replaced all the tires on that two years ago and we purchased a spare while we were at it, so. We knew, we knew we'd use it eventually and I know that one's shot and I ain't patching it. Right here's my problem. I had a bit of a flat spot. There's wires showing everywhere. So I'm not patching that, that tire's shot. Yeah, we gotta see if we can get this bead broke. I hope this little guy here will work. Oh, well, we got one side. Now that is a spraying rig. That thing's awesome. We're able to fit eight chemical totes and almost 8,000 gallons of water on that thing. So it can usually go most of the day tending to two sprayers. Triple axle. We can fit eight chemical totes up there, two there, two down there, four up there. Also got a cage here we can put our boxes in and whenever them are empty so they don't blow away. He's got four cones up here that he can mix his batches in so before, before the sprayer even comes, he's got it all loaded up and ready to go. 10,000 gallons that we have always pumping at the farm and he usually just takes it. For the stuff around the farm it works good but when it comes to hauling far away, that's where that other water trailer comes into play. And then the sprayer pulls up, we got this nice boom here on this three inch hose. What do you call it? I think you call this like a blowout, so that way once they're full, you can actually have the hose empty. 
just click that switch and it blasts air through it. And oh, the hose is nice and light and easy to work with. Got a nice water hose so you can have a water fight with your brother. Let him keep working on that. I'm going to go fix my trailer. I had a feeling that this is not going to be very easy. We finally got it. Oh, that was a job and a half. Oh, it'd be nice if we could get some rain. It's been a beautiful day today though. You know, I'm starting to think we're having a bit of a tire problem on this farm. Well everyone, yesterday at about 3 o'clock we had a 70% chance of rain for today. And now this morning we basically have a 0% chance of rain for today. So yesterday we had ordered two loads of fertilizer because we're not done spreading all of our fertilizer and our corn because that chance of rain was coming. But now it's gone. So that's great. I'm still going to probably spread fertilizer today. And just hope it rains. It feels really gross and muggy out here. While I spread fertilizer, Cameron and the rest of the guys have to spray. So we're getting this water hooked up. So yeah, I'm gonna finish hooking up the fertilizer spreader again and keep praying it rains. It feels really gross out here like it's gonna, but I don't know. Oh, I wish I could be a weatherman. That'd be a lot easier than being a farmer, I feel like. You could just guess half the time, be wrong always, and still get paid. We're gonna finish getting this thing hooked up. I'm gonna get the hitch up. I got my pin in. We're gonna do a little quick test fire here just to make sure everything's still working. I think I have it hooked up right, I'm not entirely sure. I should be getting some fan speed here, but I'm not. So, I'm not too sure what I have to do. I'm gonna go outside and do some looking. We really don't have much spreading left. But my one of two loads is here, so we're getting filled up and we're gonna head out here soon. Well, everyone, I did a bit of a oopsie. I was out with the skid steer back dragging and my quick attach hose here was hanging down, got caught and found a rock. Not only did we blow the hose, we entirely disconnected it. So yeah, those of you that know these S-Series Bobcats and how fun that thing is to replace out of these things. Oh, I hope I can get it in and out of there fairly easily. Okay, so it's the one with the sleeve on it. We have already replaced this one. So it's this guy here. It's already not wanting to come up, so that's fun. Okay, I gotta get some rope to tie up to that. To feed it through, so once I get the hose fixed, I can feed it back the other way. Here we go. You know, I've blown many hoses before, but I don't think I've ever blown one that good. I'm really stepping up in this whole breaking stuff game. Well, we got our paracord tied onto this end. Got some strong stuff. Hopefully, I can get it to pull out on this end now. We got it. I hope my rope didn't pull through, though, because that will suck. It did not. Good deal. Ish. Oh, boy. We got a rat's nest here. Now we go replace hose. Now I need a that size wrench, which I think is seven eighths. We got it out. Let's go get that fixed. Well, dad says I'm not allowed to leave yet because Cameron's coming home with the sprayer trailer. They're out spraying on this beautiful calm day and he needs help loading up. A new chemical tote over there. So I gotta wait for him to get back so he, I, he can get back to them with the sprayers. I gotta get the pellet fork on there because the bobcat is kind of broke down. I'm gonna go in the shop here and make myself productive while I wait for him. With our parts on site program or whatever you call it, we were able to get a pallet of shop towels for free. So I'm gonna put these shop towels away into our parts room. Whew, it's air conditioned in here. So this is our parts room. We have parts on site in here, which is really awesome. The man himself is back. He's got to get it untied from up there. I'm gonna go get his other tote. Well, we got the die flex on there. Now we got to get some atrazine loaded up. 
I may need water again soon though because my back tank's empty and I just pulled like 102 gallons out of the front. Okay, see ya. Well, I went and got my hydraulic hose splice, but now Cameron's saying he needs water. I'm gonna go get in the water trailer and bring him a load of water. This one on, this one closed. I think we're full. Time to rock and roll. We're gonna be blocking the road up a little bit here. Hopefully no one comes. All I do is deliver water to him. They're spraying way back there on the backside of all this swampy stuff. This is pretty slick. Cameron's here mixing up a batch for Brandon who's spraying corn. And here's all he does. Stabs it on there. Works it out real nice. And he's got an empty bottle with all kinds of ice cream in there. Ice cream for weeds. Here's my hydraulic line. Let's go see if we can get this thing put back together. And just as I suspected, this is not wanting to go in easy. I may need to put this project on hold for now. I need someone up on this end feeding it in while someone's pulling on this end. Not really just a one person job. So instead of wasting a bunch of time, I'm gonna grab the backpack sprayer. Go spray some weeds in the yard. You know, this has just a little bit of everything mixed in, so that way everything dies. My only problem is I have way too much chemical to water ratio in here, and it comes out like maple syrup, and it doesn't actually want to come out the spout. So that's fun, but I know my weeds are going to die that I kill. Okay, now that this thing's good and full, it can really be a pain to get it all the way up on your back. That's a lot of weight. What are the chances it actually works? And it's not working. Okay, I got Cameron's help now. He's gonna see if he can help me get this hose pulled back to this arm. I don't think it's gonna be a very fun task. We're finishing up our last bit of spraying here. Brandon's got 90 something acres left and dad's got a few acres of beans left. It's relatively clean. The corn's coming up nicely. Definitely don't look bad for no-till stuff, I guess. And then right over there is Dad. He's working on soybeans. We could really use some rain, though. There's moisture down there, though. This stuff here did get rain not too long ago. And it's always trying to rain, but it just it never seems to happen. I don't know. Oh, it gets frustrating. Like we just want to grow a nice, pretty crop. Some nice, big, old, tall corns. But it just doesn't want to rain. 